Zinovy Zakalyuk, a Ukrainian who was severely beaten during protests in Kiev a month ago, has found refuge at his daughter's Long Island home. With bruises still showing under his eyes and a pink scar on his head where he was beaten, Zakalyuk talks about the turmoil in his homeland with the help of translators. Despite news that the former Ukraine president, Viktor F. Yanukovych, has fled Kiev and been replaced by parliament, Zakalyuk said he still has fears for the future. For the last 24 years, there was never like really, Ukra really Ukrainian government. He doesn't want the government or the bad people that are left to trick the people once again. He was injured on January 22nd when he went to Independence Square where he had been joining protests for a month. By 11 a.m., he ended up on the ground, being kicked and stomped. Part of the assault was captured on news video. His daughter, who lives in Massapequa, says it wasn't until 12 days later that he could speak. With the help of translators, Zakalyuk placed some responsibility for the recent deaths on those who didn't step in to help. Those people who are still on the side, some of them maybe not, to realize this, they, they, this was their big mistake, that they were standing on the side. On Sunday, February 23, 2014, the Zakalyuk family attended St. Vladimir the Great Ukrainian Catholic Church in Uniondale for a divine liturgy and a memorial service for those who have died in the Ukraine protests. You know, we have wonderful people like Mr. Zakalyuk who travels to Ukraine and he, um, he put his life at, at risk. I wish no more killings and they should just get the better government. People from western side and eastern side, they got to be united. It's no such thing, different languages, different cultures. It's only one country. He would love to be there right now, he said. Donations helped pay hospital expenses, but he still has much recovery to go. If other countries didn't get involved, then it would have never stopped, basically.